Everyone in this arena has a money stake in one of our famous couples as we play the game of celebrity gossip, Tattletales. And here's the star of Tattletales, Bert Condy. Hello, everybody. Thank you. Thank you all. You're very nice. Nice to see you today. Thank you for tuning us in at home. Welcome to Title Tales. Today, we have three wonderful celebrity couples, as always. Uh, a couple of people we haven't seen for a long time and a couple that have never been with us, rookies. And they always do kind of, uh, kind of, what are you waving? <laughs> are you waving at an old friend back here? Let's meet those old friends, shall we? On my left, winning money for the blue section. Hi, honey. Mr. Charlie Brill hey. and his wife, Mitzi McCall. Yeah, hey. How are you, gang? Nice to see you. Oh, it's Bert. Yes. I've just loved you on the Tonight Show. You're just doing so good. Aren't tonight. you sweet? No, I'm not. I'm truthful. I'm gonna give you a big kiss. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> wow. What a shocker. <laughs> Thank you, Charlie. You're really colorful today. I am colorful, that. and I'm nervous. Are you? I just read a book, and I think I'm Milton Berle's son. I don't know. What <laughs> <you're>... <laughs> All right, folks. Moving right along, as I said, we have some rookies with us today, not to get the shows confused. Oh, what I almost said. Winning money today for the banana section, the star of Adam 12 and his lovely wife, Mr. Martin Milner and his wife, Judy. I got myself so confused. <laughs> how are you, Bert? How are you, Marty? Fine, thank Good you. Good to see you. Judy, how are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? Well, I'm all right. Good. Your good. rookie's on the show today. I got myself so shook up, I couldn't think for a minute there. Aww. You ready to go? Sure. This is going to be fun. You're going to have a good time, I good. think. I, I, I hope so. I, I feel we're just here. We're going to make fools of ourselves. No, <laughs> no. You're going to have a good time. The banana section's going to win a lot of money. Yeah, today, <laughs> winning money for the red section. Old friends of ours, Mr. Gary Collins and his wife, Marianne Mobley. Thank you, Bert. Up there. Hello, Marianne. Hello, Bert. Nice to have you with us today. Oh, it's good to see you. We have three lovely ladies today, and Gary. Thank you. How are you, sir? I'm just fine. It's good to be back home again. Yeah, nice to have you back with us after your Thank sojourn you. in Africa. Yeah, eight months Must down have been there. fascinating. It now. was. It's, a, it's an experience uh, I don't think you could pay for. You. Uh, it was just my luck to be able to get the show. I'm sorry it's gone, but it's awfully good to be home. Well, we enjoyed it, and it's nice to have you back. And if you're ready to go, gang, I am ready. Here's the okay. voice question worth $150. Ladies, it's addressed to you. Men. No, no, ladies. Thank you, men, thank you. Men are always being advised to sow their wild oats while they're single. How about you, ladies? Do you ever wish you had sown more wild oats when you were single? <laughs> men are always being advised to never... sow their wild oats while they're single. How about you, ladies? Do you ever wish you had sown more wild oats when you were single? Think about that, girls. We'll come back for your answer in just a moment. And we'll yeah, start with you. Uh, what was that? <laughs> finish the show. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, how do, you, how do you think Mitzi feels about that? I think that this show has taken a weak marriage and made it shaky. Is that That's right? What I think <laughs> Mitzi sowed or sown, what is it? Have, Mitzi hath sown, hath sown enough wild oats to keep Santa Anita happy for 100 that... years. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she's short and small, but she's a maniac. Is that right? Rub honey on my belly, all that kind oh, of stuff. You don't know, please. Oh, I see. But, uh... <laughs> That so, just got me hot thinking about that. Never mind. I, no, oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I tell you, blue section, a lot of luck to you right, today. Um, does Mitzi wish that she had sown more wild oats? Yes. Um, uh, I could break her neck if I think of that. I could get crazy <laughs> to think wild oats. No, she's happy with what she did, which was everything. I see. So the answer is no. She doesn't wish that she had sown more wild oats. That's so true. I got it. Let's bring on Mitzi. <laughs> Mitzi. Do you wish that you had sown more wild oats when you were single? I wish it more than anything else in the whole world. You sowed already! Oh, you sowed already! I did not! You sowed for everybody in my book! You sold. Charlie, <laughs> I, I barely Isn't sowed she sweet? a wild Look at that face. That's why I married her. Listen. This is the only time I can get away with this. Let me have fun here. <laughs> Bert. Yes, dear. I barely sowed a wild hickory nut. Is that right? <laughs> Now, let's leave Yule Gibbons out of this game. <laughs> right. I'm sorry, that's not what uh, uh, Mr. Brill said. We oh, thank you very I'm much. Sorry. Mitzi, Marty, what's Judy going to say? I think that uh, she was ready to get married by the time we got married. I think she'll say no. She doesn't wish she had sown more wild oats. 
Okay, you think so, huh? What was that? Some lady in front one said, oh, really? You don't, you don't agree with his answer? Yeah, they're, they're debating. You know, he, you don't know Judy. He knows Judy. You're going to say no. She will not wish she had sown, had sown yes, more Yes, I'm going to say no. I wish I could. Wait a minute. Don't go too fast, honey. Before you do anything, read him his rights. <laughs> No, she will not have wished she had sown. Well, I got it. Let's bring on Judy. <laughs> Judy, do you yeah. ever wish you had sown more wild oats when you were single? No. That's what the man said, and you are right. You're absolutely right, Judy. There were a few people in the banana section who uh, did not agree. And oh. I said, how do they know? They don't know you like Marty does. Had a good time, did you, when you were single, Judy? <laughs> yes, oh, no, I did. <laughs> moving right along. You have a share of the pop. Well done. Gary, what's Mary Ann going to say? That's kind of hard to follow, Mr. Miller. Uh, Mary Ann and I got married, I think, rather late. We were both... Uh, uh, oh. Yeah, we were old. <laughs> Boy, if you ever saw an actor almost stumble into a trap there. <laughs> yeah, right. Anyway, I think both of us had, uh, had uh, a, a wonderful opportunity to get to know a lot of people, and, and finally when we met, there was no question about it. And I, I do believe Marianne would say no. No, she doesn't wish that she had. Okay, right. that was very well said as well. Gee, that was nice. Let's bring on Mary Ann and see what she says. <clears throat> Mary Ann, do you ever wish that you had sown more wild oats when you were single? As it was, I was the oldest living ex-Miss America unmarried. I see. No, no. That's that what the man said. You're right. <laughs> Which means Mary Ann and Gary, Judy and Martin split the opening pot. Charlie and Mitzi will get to know each other better as the day progresses, and we'll come back and find out who wins it all on Tattletail after these messages.